five-year-old project turns more dangerous. A, a photograph of the bridge uh, here. And uh, GBC unionized staff protest sale of company's channels. Court of Appeal dismisses suit against uh, Daily Graphic. Uh, the finder, the National ID Authority, 1.9 million Ghanaians registered. Uh, voter starts July 22, while OT starts August 22. Card collection centers set up in Accra. That's on the front page of the finder. And uh, Ghana Ivory Coast to set up stabilization fund. New education reforms on course. There's no room for cynicism. That's from the Education Ministry. Daily Guide. Nana says no to MP's chamber. It's not on our radar. That's a big one here. And stop my trial. For example, for tells court. Parliament drops new chamber. That's how the Ghanaian Times put it. And AG fails to produce witness in the Fosuampo for deputy case. Uh, the cocoa story of Ghana Cote d'Ivoire uh, getting ready to set up a stabilization fund is also on the Times this morning. But I tell you that um, almost every back page of the newspapers I have this morning talks about one thing. And I guess, you know, the Black Stars uh, failure to advance to the quarterfinal of AFCON 2019. My guest to do the talking this morning, MP for Lejikuku, a member of the NPP, Honorable Dr. Okubo is here. Good morning. Yeah, right, my brother. And I hope you're doing great. Uh, I could have done better, you know, <laughs> if... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It, I see. Right. Black stars. We, we, we certainly will have to start you know, the conversation with the black stars. And yesterday they made us all uh, sleep early after. Uh, luckily that for me, luckily for me, I was able to eat after the game <laughs> because I've conscientized <laughs> and prepared myself. I've psyched myself up that mm. black stars they can do anything. You know, because of what happened yesterday, I really want to start a coaching course next year. <laughs> I, see. Um, I have a lot of respect for Kwesi, but if you're a coach and you are risk averse, you are scared to make, mm. <clears throat> take decisions and be responsible for the consequences. It's not a good place for you to be. See what, see what happened at the last minute. In fact, it was almost full time. Mm. What the <clears throat> Tunisian coach did. The, right. He changed the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper who had been very effective in the game and brought in another goalkeeper. You know what those things make you? Even if they had lost the penalties, he can claim that he's a bold coach who had a reason for bringing that goalkeeper, only that it didn't work. But you see, luckily for him, yeah, well. or rightly so, it worked. So it has proven that when you pay such a person as a coach, it is worth investing the money. A coach must be bold and take decisions. At the last hour, mm. and look at what happened. Even the goalkeeper was complaining Right. He was we, complaining we, 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 the on the bench yeah. mm. that I should be on the pitch. But the coach was in charge. I know why I'm bringing this guy only for the penalties. And now, this is a coach that has more gravitas now. You see, so, I mean... So for you, we lost the match from the technical bench. Oh, come on, look. We, we don't learn our lessons. If you look at what happened in Brazil, with all the issues in camp, when the boys decided that, look, let's save our face, they played one it Was it Germany where they had... A draw game. We yes, played, I, I think we played Germany. It was it a was, fantastic match. It, uh, exactly. We drew that match. We drew that match. You see, and what I tell people is that the output in that game tells you that we had a team that if we had managed our social, uh, technical issues well, a team that was competent to match anybody in the tournament. Now, you get know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you have to be bold. And see, I mean, I was with a lady. We were all watching a game with mm. boys. There was a lady there. This one who's not done coaching, has not played soccer, made one or two comments, and all were true. How can you finally decide to bring Asamajan? And then let six minutes into the end of it. Yes, the time was not proper. Revolution. And then you let Dede come to the bench. It's not that I was overly impressed with Dede, but in the midfield, these were the people doing the running around. You get what I'm saying? Dede was falling deep. And I don't know, we do the same thing over and over. We expect different results. You are playing one striker on top. The whole team knows that Jordan is our striker. Once they hold him very well, you have no place. They played him out. Exactly. You see, and I don't know, I don't know. You know, sometimes the more you talk, the more people think that you don't like Kwesi or you want to run him down. But we have to be bold. Mm. Although he's our own, maybe he's not come to the point where he can carry the whole team on his chest himself. I mean, I, I play soccer myself. You see, it's, it's sad. This team, well, I tell people I'm being honest. Mm. 
this is a team that I didn't really 100% feel that could take the cup, but they could go far to even the finals. So, so the team, yes. the team is okay. All they need is a, a technical see, direction that will see When you're a country, them on. you have to do with what you have. I mean, we had glorious days in terms of team quality. Mm -hmm. This is not the one I would go and bet my money on. But this is a fairly good team that can do well. What happened yesterday is not their best output, especially in terms of the decisions that were made. I mean, I told someone that if I were Kwesi, immediately after the first half, this is a, this one, it's, it's not like group stage. Right, where, where you, you get could a get you a, need a win. Over. So what's your problem? Add a striker to Jordan. You just have to get a midfielder or a defender to play an extra role so that those strikers don't have to fall deep. To, the day was falling deep. It means he wanted to protect them. He wanted to be sure that he does not leave them at the back. So once he falls deep, he cannot at the same time be supplying the strikers. And you see, yesterday, our man, Jordan, I say our man because he's had good days. Mm. See, if you're a coach, it's like a, 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 a actress. It's not every day an actor will have a good day. If you are the producer and realize that it's a bad day, what do you do? Just you change the path. Exactly. It does not mean you don't like him. The guy was on offside four occasions. A striker shouldn't be off usually even more than once. Once he's making off, it means something is not working. And what's your problem? How can you go to a tournament where you have one striker? If anything happens to him, the only option you have is Asamoah Jan. If you think Asamoah is not fit to play 20 minutes and can play even 15 minutes, why do you wait the last five, six minutes? So, I mean... I saw him coming around 86 minutes. No, man. 84, um, 86 you minutes. You see, but... Uh, we, we, we thank them. Okay, so let's look into we, the we future. Back, what next uh, for the Black Stars? Now they're back yeah. home and uh, or they're on their way home or they'll yeah. be coming home. What is next? No, Where do we go from I here? I think, first of all, I would encourage Ghanaians not to uh, abandon them in terms of our spirit. We should still hold them. Mm. See, I say it all the time. The reason why teams can lose, a team like Liverpool lost 3-0 right. in Spain, right? They came home against the almighty Barcelona. They came home the same team that lost by three goals now wins by four goals. What it tells you is that when the spirit of your supporters are with you, it can make the difference. So we should still support them. But we must be bold as a country to take a decision on the coach. Grateful. We must be bold. <clears throat> right. So let's start uh, another conversation with yeah. the issue of the chamber. And it's been dropped. Oh, you don't have the chamber in any of the. Uh, no, uh, it's so here. Why are you talking the, about? The front page of the Ghanaian Times has the chamber. Oh, okay. If you go to yeah. the Daily Graphic <laughs> page, uh, yeah. I think page <clears throat> twenty, the chamber is also there. <clears throat> uh, it's it's a story too known to be read again. Yeah, but yeah. the news is that Parliament has finally agreed that uh, yeah. we we'll hold on uh, the issue of the chamber. I think yeah. it's a is a worthy decision Parliament has taken. Yeah, you know, um, let me. Uh, you know, I've not even greeted your viewers. <laughs> Let me say, very, uh, you know, Kwesi made, Kwesi the, has, the, the you know, black stars. He's driven our adrenaline black up. stars. Uh, ah, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, let me say a very good morning to all viewers. Mm. Uh, let's get ourselves up. Uh, you know, uh, tomorrow would be better, surely, than mm. what happened yesterday. So, let's be calm. And uh, especially to all viewers uh, watching from the Lejukuku constituency, I want to wish a very good morning. And... Uh, just to say that uh, we are still, I am still talking strongly to government to consider our roads. Mm -hmm. I have to say it so that you don't, some say that doctor comes to speak about national issues. He doesn't talk about issues. The Lekma Road, uh, my brother Bright here is, is, a, is a chief uh, advocate himself. We are talking, the minister is working. We, we are praying that um, we get it soon, fixed. We get it fixed. And other roads as well, you know. All our roads, most of them are not in a good shape. You know, my brother, let me make a few facts clear here mm. for those, for the sake of our viewers, a little bit of education. So, number one, the idea to consider a new chamber came not from a politician. It came from the Development Office of Parliament. I've had, I've gone to receive education, or let me say briefing, mm. from technical people. I'm talking about parliamentary staff. Now, what they told me is that after assessing parliament, they realized that our current parliament is not having most of the things that other modern parliaments have, like lobbies for um, visit visitors who come in and other, uh, 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 how do you call it, facilities. So this is what happened. The parliamentary development, the development office, 
proposed to the then speaker, Madam uh, Justice Bamford Addo, mm. that they should consider a modern parliament. They set up a committee. This is 2012 to look at the project. I'm told that the committee really did not do much work. Mm. And then that's why in 2016 it was captured in the president's speech. I'm talking about former President Mahama. Now, we should also understand that there are three arms of government. Usually, President Kufuado will not be telling parliament what projects and programs they should put on the table. They draw their programs, but because they don't raise taxes or money themselves, it right. is funded by government through the budget. So this is what happened. When Professor Michael Kui came, he inherited this project on the table. And what I'll be uh, humble enough to admit is that beyond his, he went a little bit step, uh, a step further than the others. So I think they consulted people to come up with quite some specific designs and all that. And then the press, there was an interface with the press. Mm -hmm. Right. At the time the press were invited, myself, I'm a member of parliament, I have never come across this project. You didn't know? No, at all. So it's not like MPs have pushed or asked for a new chamber, but we respect our leadership. I'm talking about uh, Par Parliamentary Service uh, right. Board. We have our leaders there. NDC, they have their leader, Haruna, sitting, mm. or such a man supposed to sit there. Mm. there. There's a hierarchy in the institution. We are down here. They discuss, and then they will engage us, right? But as at the time this thing came into the public, we've not been engaged. It does not mean we also would deny our leadership. Okay. We... We, we, we believe that they have noble intent, but it's not, uh, how do I put it? There is no leadership that is perfect in their judgment. So that if even despite the nobleness we believe they have, they've made a decision which has proven to be grossly unpopular with the public. Right, we are there to do what the public largely wants. Look, even if you build a chamber, the chamber represents the legislature, which is for Ghanaians. So, more or less, this is going to be, it was about to be done for the citizen. Mm. Here you are. The citizen says that this is not necessary now. We don't want it. If you are a leader and you are conscious and sensitive, what do you do? You reorient, evaluate, move away, and see the way forward. That's what the Parliamentary Service Board has done now. Right. So, I, as for me, honestly, I really appreciate every Ghanaian who was conscious enough to say that, wait a minute, this should not come into the picture now. Mm. That is how I feel also. And you know, one interesting thing which a lot of people are not aware of, NPP as a party has never pushed for or supported this. Guess what? NDC as a party has never supported or pushed for. But the legislature, although it's parties that bring MPs, most parties, um, mm. MPs come from the party. Remember in parliament, there's no NDC side or MPP side. It is majority and what? A minority. minority. So we, the MPs in parliament, who came from political parties? We've never asked for this chamber. But the structure in parliament, the parliamentary service board, considered it. We are all saying it's not proper. But it is unfortunate that one side sometimes, I'm talking about the NDC, talks as if, ah, you have a government that is so, so insensitive. Look at what they are considering. We are not for it. But their leadership and our leadership, they've had a wind of it. Are you getting what I'm saying? And, and we as a party, and I'm happy, uh, the government through the uh, cabinet minister, mm. has also spoken, saying that the president is not in favor. Me, right, sometimes I have to educate people. I appreciate why John Mahama did not have the courage to say, throw this away into the gutter. Why Kufado, the first time he was informed, or if he's come across, to say, throw it to the gutter. Because legislators like the judiciary carry their own destiny, you are careful not to be the one telling them, instead of this program, bring this on board. But I say that the most powerful person in this country is the citizen. Once he says that I am not going to consume this food, you put it in the let fridge. Let me ask you a few questions. Do you yeah. do you, do MPs feel you? Or let yeah. me do, yeah. let me use you. Do you feel betrayed? Your leadership failed to inform you of this project, and rather went to the media. You know what I'll say is that betrayal is a strong word. You see, because they made you look no, no, as if you're the one yeah, asking yeah, no, for. No, I know, I know. I mean, I understand the public. You know, I say that MPs are an endangered species. When I say endangered species because of things that have happened in the past, there are a lot of people um, who, I don't want to say, don't, they, they, they are suspicious mm. of our intent, something that we are there only for ourselves, a lot of things. So immediately this thing came out. I mean, those with that orientation were like, ah, there they go again, you know? They want a bigger house. But what I want to say is that 
Because now we have a very vibrant media. And now uh, information dissemination is so fluid, mm -hmm. bright. You have parliamentary service board. Remember, other parliamentary service boards, I'm talking about previous years, have had this on their table. Right. But because they did not move the step that this board moved, nobody even discussed the idea. Right. But as we speak, it's because they had an interface with the, with the media. Maybe on hindsight, mm. all of us should have been engaged, right, before, all, all of us should have been engaged before it, it, it reached the stage of uh, interfacing the or, media and uh, uh, exactly right and you see if right if we the mps had been uh, how do you call it uh, uh, consulted mm -hmm. if the stakeholder consultations had captured mps before maybe the media i'm sure this drop the chamber wouldn't have happened maybe it is at the mps level that the drop the chamber would have happened i don't know whether I get again yes, yes again yes. let me ask you this so there was no consultation uh, a bidding process was opened Someone actually drew, uh, uh, how do they call it, technically, yeah. uh, and, and, and brought it. Yeah. All those processes, what do you yeah. make of it? Right. Uh, let me quickly say that mm. I am not an expert in all the procedures that should have been exhausted. Mm. All I know is that, you know, I always use Kolibu as an example. Mm. I'm trying to get a sitting area developed at the entrance, because a lot of people sit uh, randomly at places. I've gotten a quantity surveyor to do BOQs. First got an architect to do drawings. I have all this with me so that when I'm approaching institutions for support, there will be something concrete on the table. The architect is not doing it for free. No, no. Because it's Kolibu, um, for, luckily for my director of works, is an architect. Okay. And the one who did the BOQs honestly did not charge us. We, I made them understand that I'm not even going to look for help. Kolibu okay. is not a, a profit-making institution. We try to survive. So, right. I have all these documents, but honestly, I've not paid money for them. For them. I can't say for sure whether Parliament made some payments for the drawings and things they have. Mm. But the point I want to make, right, which is very important, is that they took a further, they have, they, they moved a step further from what previous parliamentary service boards did mm. in terms of just having maybe the idea on the table. They have done some drawings and all that. But we should also be honest, they've not gotten to the level where you, you actually are about to hit the ground, cut a sword and build. They've looked at funding sources and all that, you understand? Bottom line, MPs have never called for this project. It's the Parliamentary Service Board which took the decision. There's leadership from both NDC side and PP side. We as MPs admit that although they are leaders, they are not engaged us. And the media was engaged. We are not here to hang them as our leaders. All we are saying is that no leadership is perfect. There is one thing I'm glad about, right? It is not the leader who brings an unpopular proposal who should be hanged. It is the one who insists on pushing the unpopular proposal through, no matter the sentiment. I am happy they've reoriented and backtracked. They are not perfect. No institution is perfect. Grateful. Let me introduce uh, my uh, second guest, member of parliament for the Ningo Pram Pram constituency, a member of the NDC, and also Sam George is here. Good morning. Good morning, man. I hope you are great. Uh, by God's grace, very pumped up this okay. morning. Mm. Uh, let me say very good morning to our viewers and yourself, my brother, Inshona Jay Z, mm. Honorable <laughs> Okoboy. Uh, um, and let me say that this morning mm. i'm just coming from circle it's part of the reason so i'm a little late abroad sport you can see the t-shirt i'm wearing kumia preko we want you little demonstration is happening this morning there are thousands tens of thousands of people at circle already and um if you're watching at home and you you have time on your hands this morning and you're facing the hardship and insensitivity and incompetence of this government please join us to send a resounding message to our visiting president because the president is hardly in this country he's more outside this country than in the country he's run away yet again when Ghanaians are suffering he's taking a one week leave but we will send a message to him that Ghanaians can't afford to take a one week leave but he can afford to take a one week leave on a 17,000 an hour private jet yes he has, he has he has to go on leave he's been working for two years 
well, we have not seen the value of the, of the work. But he's been working for two years. Oh, really? Mm. Is it not interesting that these were the same people who criticized President Mahama, who took a working leave? to go and fix the doom so and brought in the Mary plant when he went to, to, to the United Arab Emirates, the Middle East. They called him Kofi Dubai. What do we call what do we call our president today? They said why didn't okay. he go to Bali? Why Chibi? Your president should go there and go and sit by the Galamse Pits <laughs> in Chibi uh, and celebrate right. his holiday. You see okay. that hypocrisy of the MPP. Anyway, we're good. Uh, I, I heard you we'll talk about the, the chamber, football, the, the black yes, stars. Yeah, quick one on the quick black one on stars. The black stars. Uh, <laughs> my favorite Indomie flavor is onion chicken. You know, onion chicken flavor. You know, I did a post on the 22nd, was it 22nd of June? I'll just read exactly what I said so that people realize that in this town, when you speak the truth, Ghanaians don't like you. I did a post 10, 22, 25th of June. I said, you can't score Benin, Benin Republic, or Nigeria, or Tunisia, or Egypt, no come yet. Young Koti, a year of return. You will not return with even Indomie. Disband the Black Stars and build a new team from the under-21 level. A mansion built on a weak foundation will fail. Simplicita. Ghanaian journalists and politicians and everybody insulted me and insulted my late grandfather. I'm not a patriot. Patriotism, <clears throat> patriotism is standing up for your country and speaking the truth even when it is not popular. And that's what I did. I showed I'm a patriot by saying that, look, the Black Stars as we have now... Yes, you will lose because the team you have is incompetent. The team you have is reflective of the government that we have. Yeah. Incompetent. How, how does a team reflect a government? Ah, okay, let me, a, show you. let me show you. Football you have, players. You have, you have a coach so that is technically bankrupt, President Akufuado. You have a captain who has, who has gone past his prime. Osafuma for prime minister. You have a general captain. Or... Oh, a general captain who 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 is more of a Jamal leader, Baumia. <laughs> it's completely reflective of the team, and I can take it player by player and show you their representatives in the in the, in the government setup. Look, you have a team. Would we not have been shocked at Ghanaian or African football if this Ghanaian team that showed no technical and tactical discipline won the Afcon? Let's call a spade a spade. Look, I have always maintained the team that under President Kufo qualified us for our first World Cup in 2006 in Germany. That team was built by my predecessor. It started work by my predecessor, Honorable E.T. Mensah, in 98. From under 17, the ACNs, the Steven Apiers, there was a progressive plan. They started from Ghanaman and Prom Prom. Built that team, kept them together. They were in Teshi before that. That team, <laughs> well, you mean buttress my point, from Teshi to Ghanaman to yeah. where they got to. Okay, that team was, this, was, was what took us to the, our first World Cup. <clears throat> you saw the beauty of the Black Stars in Germany. And then even four years later in South Africa, that is when we became the toast of the world. I was in South Africa in 2010. And at a, when, when, when the, the South African team got the, knocked out, South Africans, the whole of Africa was behind Ghana. They were calling the Black Stars Bagana Bagana. That was a team that was built. What plan did we do for a succession? The day the team that went and won the World Cup in, in Egypt in 2010, how many of those players are still in the Black Stars apart from Dede and Jonathan Menza? We have not built a team to go. You have a coach who, who, who has absolutely no technical understanding. He goes with one formation, route, route one. That is it. When the, the formation is varied, nothing. What's the way forward? Wrap up on this one. The way forward, the I've stated in my, in my state, in, in my post of 25th. Get the whole team down. Pull the I said, whole team I said down. look, and... I won't lie. The happenings in Brazil. I have become a. I became a critic of the Black Stars even when the NDC was in government. From Brazil, I thought that those boys did not show patriotism with their actions in Brazil. And when you say they are patriots and patriot, this this Egypt they've gone. If they were patriots, they would wear our national colours with pride. How many of those boys? Tell me any one of those boys in the Black Stars who earns eighty thousand dollars in two weeks. They got an appearance fee for $80,000. So how are they patriots? The English national team, where the players in the English national team earn hundreds of thousands of dollars, they, they wear their national colors with pride. But our boys, if you don't pay $80,000, if you don't give them winning bonus, then they won't go and play. 
and you say they are Patriots, disband the team, get a real fulcrum. If we can't get foreign players, let's build our local league. Let's get a proper national team of local players, have a development plan for the next four years, and rebuild the Black Stars. Thank okay. you. Okay, so the Chamber, chamber. now. You, 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 asked, you asked the question, and the question you asked was on the basis of the Ghanaian Times newspaper. Mm. Let me say that the Ghanaian Times, like many other media houses, and including yourself, Bright, is, are, are wrong. Parliament has not dropped a new chamber plan. The Parliamentary okay. Service Board has dropped and has, has suspended, in fact, those were their words, put on hold. Okay. Parliament is different from the Parliamentary Service Board. Parliament is 275 of us and the Speaker. Right. But you have the Parliamentary Service Board. My brother Oko and colleague Oko took the pain to explain the difference between Parliament as 275 MPs and the Parliamentary Service Board. The Parliamentary Service Board is made up of the Speaker, the Minority Leader, the Majority Leader, Honorable Hakman Owusu Ajiman, and Honorable Abena, the Deputy Finance Minister. That's the Parliamentary Service Board. They, 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 they go into whatever agreements they, or discussions on the basis of whatever representations are made to them, on, in this case, a representation by the development office. Mm. The attack on members of parliament, when we had not even had an opportunity to make our views on this chamber known, is most unfortunate. Let's state that for the fact. However, where I, I, I digress from my brother is, yes, a proposal was made to speak about Fadado. Yes, President Mahama came to parliament and spoke about it. The, the need or the request from parliament for a new chamber. But that is where you see leadership. He puts the, the national needs in a scale of preference and said, yes, I acknowledge, when he came to parliament, said, yes, I acknowledge that you need a, a chamber. We will look towards it. But before we will do that, we will build the schools, the 123 community day senior high schools that he built. We will build the hospitals. We will build the universities, the Ridge Hospital, the 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 uh, uh, the, the, the various regional hospitals we built, the various district hospitals we built, those were priorities for the Mahama administration. So yes, Mama said, yes, we will, build a, we will build you a chamber, MPs. But hold on, the Ghanaian people you represent need health care. They need access to portable water. They need access to electricity. They need access to health care. So I will do those things first. He had a priority. What do you see under the NPP? That is the failure of leadership you don't see. The speaker tells us that the president was willing to come and cut the sword in June. The, president, the speaker tells us that the Minister for Finance had actually created a budget line for this in the budget. And you see all kinds of lies from government, the, the, the information minister telling us that the president knew nothing about it, which is a lie. Are you saying the speaker, then except one of them is lying, either the information minister or the speaker. The speaker who says and told us and put it in writing that the president was aware and willing and had agreed in principle, or the, or the information minister who is saying the, the president didn't know. Who do we believe? Now, you ask issues of procurement. Look, for the media people and the Ghanaian people who have raised issues about this, there have been huge procurement breaches. And again, if you take my Facebook page, go to my Facebook page. I posted my position on this matter, and I raised issues of procurement law, mm. breaches of procurement law. How much was paid to David Ajay for the model that you saw? And let nobody tell us that no cost has been incurred. That is not true. The Ghana Institute of Architects has issued a statement. The Ghana Institute of Architects is pointing out the fact that they were invited to an evaluation panel with other sister institutions like the Ghana Institute of Engineers, the Ghana Institute of Planners, Institute of Surveyors, and that it was a restrictive tendering. Three companies were, 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 were there for the design process. The Institute of Architects said that they raised an objection at that meeting. When they were asked to come for the restrictive tendering, they raised an objection and said one of the companies is Chinese. And not because the objection is not that they are Chinese, they are a construction firm. And by, by, by international best practice, you don't bring a construction firm to bid for a design process. He, the, 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 the release by the Ghana Institute of Architects is saying that the parliamentary representation, the parliamentary service board representation said, ignore the breach. Overlook it. It is not a matter. You focus on the other two then. And just give us one of the two. So even when professional advice on the procurement breaches that were up that had been occasioned by the restrictive tendering was told to the Parliamentary Service Board representative, who is not mentioned in the letter, in the release by the Ghana Institute of Architects. They were asked to overlook it. 
This is so unbecoming of parliament and deserves a full-scale investigation. Look, you cannot seek to equate the, or, 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 or create um, an equal playing field here. The NDC's position and the MPP's position on this matter are not one and the same. They are not? Absolutely your, not. Your leaders were, the, the, do your leaders, your, your, they serve on the parliament. The, 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 the minority leader mm. is in the minority, one. He is one of five people on the, on the Parliamentary Service Board. Mm. Okay? He's one of five. And the minority leader is bound and takes direction from the NDC, just like every other member of Parliament. Any member of Parliament who chooses to break ranks with a party needs to vacate his seat and go and contest as an independent candidate. And I know, and I can state without equivocation, I can state here on record, the Honorable Haruna Idrisu, who is the minority leader, respects and abides by the position of the NDC. The NDC as a political party has issued a statement. What is the MPP's position on this matter? Has the MPP issued a statement? You no, have had uh, members... Honorable Okoboy said that the party is not in favor of... Uh... Oh, Okoboy is saying his own... Uh, when Inshona Jay-Z speaks... He's what's representing the uh, What are you talking about? Oh, we, John Boydou has... We formally said that... Has we are not he issued a statement? Yes, I've read. I've read... Where, where is the statement? Protest. There is no statement that's issued by the MPP. I can show you our statement. Uh, bring it. Ah, uh, okay. you see? Honorable I'll show you our statement. Go ahead and, and wrap up. The General Secretary. The NDC has stated his position. Members of the NDC have come out voicing for us to say, we do not support this chamber. Okay, but you have members of the MPP coming out and defending and telling us why, why, why we must have it that the, the speaker cannot see, he, can, he cannot see MPs where he's sitting, where he's sitting, where he's sitting, where he's sitting. Yes, they are uh, pillars, but they speak, we still catch the speaker's eyes. Okay, I mean, the suggestion, the suggestion that our, our needs and wants are, proud, are, are prior of more priority than the, 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 the needs of the people we represent is, is unholy. It's something we must not associate ourselves with. Okay. And even yesterday, nature, nature, nature was, 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 was demonstrating in Parliament. The car park, the location for the, the proposed chamber block, yesterday's rain, two of the huge trees that line up Parliament, they, they, they got angry. They decided to take off their roots and cross the road and say they will not allow the construction to happen there. <laughs> even nature, even nature so, is against Several this. trees fell around the crowd. Uh, well, <laughs> none of them fell where the chamber was supposed to be. I'm saying the tree at the chamber, where the chamber pot was supposed I, to be. I see. Uh, so uh, chamber block. Okay. Right. You know, let me get a level of cool here and then we'll move on. Am, Let's talk about I am reliably informed energy. Right. that in President Kufado's, this is term, mm. this is period, less than three years, he's had more cabinet meetings than the four years of JM. Ah! Now, mm -hmm. you know what? Says who? Oh, I'm coming, please. I mean, we can go into the figures. I'm making this point. I want to make this point. That, that the president is not visiting One of the hardest working <laughs> leaders of this country mm -hmm. is His Excellency the President. And his hard work has shown in many ways. Mm -hmm. You know, I say it all the time. JM didn't hate nurses. It's because the management of the economy, the way he managed the economy, he could not handle or survive the payment of the allowances. You have a president who has been able to restore those things. And you know what? Please, I want viewers to know, under this presidency, we are having one of the most aggressive building, inf infrastructure building drives. Hmm? At the, like you are in parliament, I sit in the finance committee. Hmm. Under the secondary education uh, improvement project, or program. <laughs> we are building any notes in Lejokuku, as we speak, they are building, a, this is how we call it, a, a lecture hall right now. Almost every place you go in this country, there is aggressive construction. I was called recently by the headmaster that if I don't come early, they might finish the building before I come around. <laughs> there is a facility making sure, as we speak, we have uh, dormitories being built across the country. In fact, the, the education minister has said it clearly, oh, that in the next five years, the, the uh, how do you call it, this um, the, the double track. The double track. We are going to uh, move away because we would have closed the infrastructure deficit. The point I'm making is that those days when JM sat on planes to go for programs or events outside, did we have a situation where every Ghanaian was having fried rice on his table and Milo and ice cream to take? I mean, sometimes we should not come that uh, that low because of uh, policy. My brother has won red. Um, as a doctor, I know there are benefits for, for going on uh, how to call it, work. I mean, it, it's okay. And I'm a Democrat. I don't have a problem with people who try to do critics and all that. But the viewer is the same. You had the opportunity just some few years ago. I'm not saying Ghana is like heaven. But for the first time, mm. there is a notice asking private nurses. I always use them as an example because I am in the health sector. 
I talked to private nurses who said they were told some years ago that because they attended private schools, their place is not in government or public hospitals. They should look for pri private facilities to work. And since 2012, no privately trained nurse got the opportunity to be employed. They invest money. They were sitting at home. We have given clearance. They are applying about to engage. Already, close to 53,000 health workers have been given clearance. The biggest ever in the 24-month period. What point am I making? If we were not growing the economy, if this economy was not being managed well, there is no way we could have absorbed these people and given them opportunity. And right. These are the people who will tell whether this is a government that is asleep or is working. Mm. And please, um, just for the records, sometimes we have to be honest as politicians. If you take a decision which is unpopular, you have to be honest, humble, and reorient. When JM gave the address and mentioned that parliament was going to build a new chamber, how can you be a president, write a speech, read through it, see that there's, there's a new chamber, talk about it, and today your children, those who follow you, are saying that as a party, you are totally against. How can you be talking from the same mouth two different things? The point I'm making is that the thought was never rejected even by their party. Please. And how Nedrisu is in the parliamentary service board, not because he's a nice, handsome man, or because he comes from Tamale. My brother, he is there so that the sentiments of the minority will be brought to bear at the parliamentary service board. That's why I'm not quick to hang or say Chairman Zambozo. Mm -hmm. He is there representing what? The majority side. They were all part of the considerations. If it has back backfired, what we admit is that they are not a perfect group. They've reoriented. We congratulate them for that. But you are speaking as if Haruna went there as a single person. He was representing the entire minority. And your minority is an NDC minority in code, as if you come from NDC as a party. So don't speak. Why didn't Haruna Idrisu issue a press statement to say that, look, at the Parliamentary Service Board, there is a proposal to consider a new chamber. I've sat with my secretary. The NDC as a party is totally against this. Why didn't JM allow their party to make a statement and say that Parliament as a, an organ of what? The state. There are three arms of government. Why didn't John Mahama, during his time, organize a press conference or let's say his party organized and say that our president has been fed with a program from Parliament that they want to build a new chamber. We, the NDC, are totally against this project. Why do you hear any such a thing? They sat around the table. Right. I'm happy he said Parliament is different from our Parliamentary Service Board. Perfecto. I, Dr. Coboy, have never requested for a new chamber. He hasn't also. The MPP, you see, the danger I see here is that op opposition wants to quickly use this to get some mileage. But the citizen is discerning. No executive. JM didn't tell Parliament to bring a new chamber proposal. The same with the Kuvado. And if the speaker writes to the president asking him to be part of a, a concept or a project mm. which Parliament wants to do, the fact that he's been invited does not mean he's the one who actually conceived, gave birth or endorsed. When JM read this in Parliament, did he mean he had endorsed the new chamber? No! He had been fed with a program coming from an arm of government. But I am happy that we have a conscious and sensitive citizen. Just like President Kufadu. President Kufadu has never said that in my dreams as an executive, this is a proposal. It came from Parliament. Let me ask you this. When the presidency received that letter from the speaker, should the presidency have written to Parliament to say that, no, put this project on hold. Uh, yeah. Let me talk about it right. first to people. I'm very happy you said so. Because in the beginning, I tried to explain. Mm. Every president or executive is very careful not to be telling the another arm of government, especially I'm coming both the legislature and the judiciary say that this program you've drawn costs 20 million dollars swap it for another program i'm not in favor in fact it is a little bit and right um, let's be candid if my daughter asks no, no, me for pizza yeah. and i don't have the money i'll tell her no no i, 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 I wouldn't give it go right i'm happy you've mentioned money mm. this is coming from the clerk of parliament i went to sit under his feet to tell me about this you know what he told me since 2012 after the concept came from development office, every budget that featured in parliament captured, there was some funding allocation made to it, but it was never disbursed. I see. 2013, 20, this is from the clerk, 2014, 20, in terms of allocation okay. So that's what the clerk told you? Yes! Did, did you verify? No, I've not, I'll okay. be honest. But okay. I'm saying that the clerk of Ghana's parliament, mm. who actually is like the chief administrator in, I uh, said that since 2012, every the, budget has yes, set aside money exactly. for the new but chamber. was never what? Disbursed. The point I'm making is that the fact that Parliament 
Service Board or Parliament as uh, an arm mm -hmm. has brought it and it's even showed up in the budget. Does not mean that there is the intent or willingness to pay. Just like in 2013 under JM, 2014, 20, You see, let's be honest as politicians. Is your argument the fact that the yeah. president could have gone to cut the sword and yet ask Mr. Furiata not to release money for the, the, no, the no, project? I'm right. Is that your argument? No, no. Okay, I'm happy. Right. Yeah. I'm happy you've because asked. Because you just said no, that no, right. uh, there's, there's no right. attempt to yes, pay. I'm happy you've mm. asked this. Mm. The date that the president was supposed to come and cut the sword, it didn't happen. We're told the last week of June. Yes, it didn't happen. Mm. I don't know all the dealings that is going on in the executive. But, Bright, you have to read between the lines. If a president receives an invitation to come and cut a sword for a project, and it didn't happen, I'm not surprised that this is the kind of sentiments that come from Ghana. It is very possible. I don't have all the things. It's very possible that the president knew that this cannot, uh, how do you call it, uh, go well. It's not good at this time. Exactly. And Bright, he is the head of the executive in the country. He receives an invit invitation from the head of another organ, right? I mean, I'm being careful. Maybe, just like GM did, right? Just like GM did. Mm. He knew that it is better to let the citizen take the that most, decision. Yes, the most powerful person. There's only one person who is more powerful in this country than the president of the country. The taxpayer. The taxpayer. He alone can ask judges to make sure that they, they ensure there is value for money. He alone can ask both the judiciary, the legislature, and executive. I never called for a new chamber. Lejokuku has never called for a new chamber. I have never been consulted, mm. but I respect my leadership. I'm not hanging them. I'm saying that as a group, they took a decision which is inappropriate, which has shown to be unpopular. They've done the rightful thing, which is out. to reorient and, and move away. Okay, you know, let me come here and then we'll yeah, take yeah, some let comments. Just, yeah. Let me just correct a few things. You see, um, there's, there's been this untruth that's constantly been peddled mm. by spokespersons and apparatchikis of the NPP. Let's be clear about it. Let's be Let's, let's, right. let's. Oh, but, right. but Aparachikis is, 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 is not, is not, no, Aparachikis is not, is not the regulatory. Well, uh, uh, but, uh, but uh, you should, 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 you he paid nursing allowance in his first year and second year of, of government. It was mm. in the third year of his administration also, that a decision was taken. Mm. Okay? And that decision was taken because he said, look, as nurses, nursing trainees, your long-term future is more important. Uh, your long-term future is when we have hospitals for you to work. Oh, oh, oh. And so let's contribute that money to, to, to working. <laughs> now, JM, when he paid nursing it's trainees, paid them 600 CDs. <laughs> 2013, 2014. Uh -huh. 600 cities. 600 cities. Today in 2019, uh -huh. that Akufado says he's paying. Uh -huh. He's paying 300. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, Jai. Oh, what is Oh, Jai? Uh -huh. <laughs> These are facts. Jai, yeah, right. Someone paid you 600. How much is government paying now? Right. The, uh, I think the last time it was around 450 cities. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, no, Sanjay, JM paid 600 in 2013. Yeah. Mm. But in 2019, right. now with all the cities are grateful. Oh. Right, 450 uh, is better than zero. Okay, you allow, uh, you allow him. Uh, Please go. Grateful. Again, the suggestion has been made here. But you are, you are, you are, you are, you are the yes. body of Kolibu. She's calling to tell you that there, there, there is no, there is no syringe <laughs> for injection at Kolibu. That's what she's calling you. I don't no Please go on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the the fact has been made here again mm. that the NDC did not employ mm. private nurses. That's not correct. Again, we, we did uh, employ private nurses. What did you do to oh, private yeah. nurses? Clearance was given for them. Ah, from clearance was given, yes. And you, and you see, you see. No, what, what, no, don't talk about please. Yeah, okay, okay. What, one thing my friend and brother here has failed to to be honest or fully disclosed is that getting financial clearance is not the same thing as the people being employed. Though. Financial clearance has been given for several public hey, sector people. Is it the last time JM paid allowance was one fifty Ghana cedis? And 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 oh, right. I mean, I mean, I mean, Ghana. that's not true. Hey, I'm so saying he paid six hundred. We Dubai, can yo. always go and verify. Yo. You understand me? If you have your branch, <laughs> your branch women organizer send you, MPP branch women <laughs> organizer send you a message and you are reading. <laughs> that's I'm not very far. Let, let's go. On. But okay, see, on track. It's again, presentation is not a woman. Seven. <laughs> it's not. Please go. On. When 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 you have you have. Clarence given. It doesn't mean people have been recruited. They keep talking about 50,000, clearance of 50,000 people. Give us a list of the 50,000 people you've employed. Oh. The, it, is, it is not the same. It's not one Control and the same. We are challenging General. them. 
to give been. us the list of, of people they have they have they have recruited. Again, you see, when my brother goes on and on and on and says that there was always a budget line. A line in the budget. He, said he was told by the clerk. Uh, he, he has, has, not, he has not gone to verify. Yeah. Should go and verify and yeah. show us. But the, again, I have always maintained that look, under GM, there was this discussion. Nobody will run away from it. Mm. It came from Parliament. JM took a decision as a decisive leader, as a leader who cares but about the people. And said, and said, and said, and said, and said, and said I will not build the chamber yet. Hey. Where did James say this? All I would do right. is to focus my monies in building the classroom blocks. What? In building all the health infrastructure we are and doing that. infrastructure that we see. You know what, what you know, you know, I, I looked up to the heavens and said that God shouldn't come now. Jesus mm. shouldn't come now. Because if Jesus comes now, my brother won't and the end won't go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and I want him in heaven okay. with me. You know why? You know why? Dr. Okoboy, yeah. in giving you an example of infrastructure development in this country. Hmm. Said I was in parliament with him and we passed what? The secondary education improvement program. Yeah. SEIP. Uh, My God. It started. The SEIP. Yeah. Right. If yeah. you remember, yeah. the then national youth organizer of yeah. the NPP, yeah. Samir Wuku, yeah. when Mahama brought SEIP phase one, yeah. that has built 23 community day senior high schools that today has free SHS children in it. 23 complete, complete. 23 oh, under the SEIP built by the World it. Bank. 23 complete mm. schools, not dormitories. Though. You are talking about dormitories. We built complete schools, 23, yeah, under the World Bank. Hmm? Oh, Jai. 23 out of 200. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I right, his time is going. I lie, I lie. Let me show you. You show me. He's going to show you. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Uh, we're, we're, we're not getting it. Allow him. Allow him. Allow him. If you need to react, I'll come to you. Samir Wuku called the SEIP that today they are telling us is that he called it sanitary pad loan. Do you remember? Oh, some went into you know that because you know that. that project you see that some is you see and let me let me tell you when I've always said I've always said that the free SHS started under the NDC in 2015-2016 hey, people have, have contested this? it what is it this? was that SEIP hey. there, there were three components to the stand the, 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 the SEIP which is a World Bank funded uh, uh, facility the first was to construct 23 of Mahama's e blocks ah okay 23 Mama only e okay Mama's e blocks, the 23, the ones that the the MBB today claims that they went and lobbied for and got. 23 of those blocks were built under that SEIP. Mm. Then we, we targeted 10,460 of the poorest children in school and supported them with cash grants. Then we also realized that by a study, scientific study, that many of the girls in remote Ghana, in local, in, in rural Ghana, are unable to go to classrooms during their menstruation. Right. Oh, wow. During their menses, they are unable to go to class because they can't afford sanitary towels. And so, and so, and so, we made sure that ladies in the rural areas, poor wow. children, the 10,460 girls, or, or girls among the 10,460 children, were given support for sanitary towels. Today, that same project, the success of that project that we did under the NDC, that helped us pilot and start the free SHS in 2015, wow, 2016, yeah. allow the World Bank <laughs> to say, we will give you phase two. You are using yeah. the phase two to build dormitories. We who built classroom blocks, what should we say? Right, you say we should, we should, we should okay. Call. Right. Uh, quick one. Right. Yes. You know, uh, John Mahama's God. He's big. Uh, John oh. Mahama's God is right. big. Papa. Right. You know, Everything that this government will claim that they are doing. Right. If it is right, uh, if it is a correct thing that they no, are doing, no, no, it's a Joe Mahama true. project that they are continuing. True. If it is wrong, and you, second, if it is right. if it is wrong, if it is a wrong decision of this government, and you ask them why right. are you taking a wrong decision, oh, Joe Mahama Right, Joe Mahama started it. Right, Joe Mahama is oh. now the SI unit for standard oh, governors. Oh my right. goodness! You know what? You're a science student like me. <laughs> when somebody is the SI unit, what do you call him? Right, you see what he's doing. International we are standard, up. So up. standard right. international. We are up, bro. John Jamani Mahama. Right. My God, as a physician. Who studies and looks at, looks at people's attitude and orientation. The mama is After having lost the 2016 election, if these are the things you still assume are the reasons why you, you lost or you think that you did so well, everything about your government and GM is perfect. Continue to tread that path. Ah, we will. You should listen tread, to Ghanaian. If you listen to Ghanaian, tread, you to continue to tread that path. Yo, 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 right. Continue to tread that path. You tread, tread. You did nothing wrong. Right. No, so according we, to we have right, we have right. Our, oh, I'm coming. We are coming to uh, <laughs> But you see, you promised.
promised wait, them better. Wait, wait. Right. You promised them better. Oh, and right. With your promise of better, right. everything. Right. 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 Let me, oh. right. Let me conclude. Man, then you're My Tuesday, Tuesday morning is made. Right. What I am grateful. What served as the momentum <laughs> for this demonstration? <laughs> right. So much. Is the chamber. So now, so that the chamber, table, now that it's off the table, I'm coming. Now that it's off the table, I expect you yeah. to have your t-shirt. I expect you to come <laughs> to circle with us because journalists who are being maltreated, you're having <laughs> male genital mutilation of journalists. <laughs> you're having assassinations of journalists under the NPP administration. I need you to come out and demonstrate and show your anger for the murder of Ahmed Swali. So all the journalists in oh. TV3, your so t-shirts are with you. Of, I expect you there. Look, so we this are because fighting of Swali. the hardships in this country. And let me tell you something. And since when? This you, you need to, oh, no, no, Kuba, if he gives you one, you should take it. No, no, you know the what? Me. No, no, I'm coming. Oh, oh, oh. See, no, I, 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 you give you one. I, I, I like records. Okay. Are you comfortable? I want to. I want it to go into my diet. Hey. That on such a day, he burnt about 500 kilo, uh, calories in the morning. <laughs> calories. So I'll take <laughs> one. He's a MP for Lejekuku, a member of the NP. But, but let me serve notice. Let me serve now notice with, to Ajayi Provocateurs with, with, with who are coming, who are coming, who are coming under the auspices of national security. You see, operations commander is it acp or dcop is uh is is the one leading the operation I do I, not want I, to I, see. I, I, we have told them okay. if any Asian provocateur comes so, in, we will pick them up and hand them over to so the police. The police, you know the police okay. is there. Okay. With, okay. With, you will pick with, with but the police. MPP invisible forces who want to show you. God is the MP for Ningo Pram Pram. Yeah. Gentlemen, I'm grateful for your Tuesday you morning. See this guy? Well, you see, this uh, is your mama. See. This is a hawk. Your mama. This is a hawk. Your mama. 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 Your mama